Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here. So coming to you today and just wanted to talk about a, I'll put air quotes around, budget optic that I picked up uh, during Black Friday slash Christmas sales and all that fun stuff over at Primary Arms. Uh, they had these on sale. This is their, this is their Hunter line of scopes that they came out with uh, not too long ago. And this is the SLX 4 to 12 by 40. And the reason I wanted to pick this up, oh, really the only reason I picked it up, typically the 4 to 12 by 40, if you go on their website or pretty much anywhere that sells this scope, it will be listed for, I'm like 100% sure it's $229.99. Something along those lines. I think it's $229. Uh, I think that's how much they have it listed for on their website. Well, they were running them on sale for 99 bucks, so $100. And the 229 price, that's typically, I've looked at these several times in the past, especially when they first came out with them. I was very intrigued by them. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's always been that 229 price. They're always north of 200 bucks. And so, for me, I just never really jumped on that. And then, of course, saw them for a hundred dollars and really couldn't pass that up. And I'm, I think they offer a three to nine by 40, the four to 12 by 40. And then I'll, I think they also have a 50 millimeter uh, objective version as well. I'm almost positive. And the reason I say that is because right here on their box, they say this one has the um, 50 millimeter objective, which it does not. It clearly has the 40. Uh, so don't know what's going on there with the information on the box, but that's incorrect. This is 40 mil, uh, objective. And so it's a duplex reticle, huge fan of a duplex reticle. And I'm a really big fan of primary arms optics in general. I've had a handful of their stuff come through my hands just throughout uh, really the, the whole time I've kind of been doing this channel since, let's see, I started this in 2018 which is hard to believe now. Um, but I started posting videos, I think, all the way back in 2018. And just throughout time, different firearms that I've that I've had, different platforms and all this other stuff, I've, I've run their, their budget, uh, first focal plane stuff, the four to 14, I think is what it is. Uh, my 44 millimeter stuff, I've run those. Uh, some of their nicer items, some of their prism optics, you name it. I mean, it, they've got really, really good stuff. Now, one thing you do have to be mindful of, if you go and you look, let's see, I'll probably tell it right here on the box. Uh, okay, these are backed by a lifetime warranty. Not all of their stuff is backed by a lifetime warranty, so you have to be mindful of that. If you if you just make an assumption like an Athlon or a Vortex or Leupold, all that stuff, to my knowledge, everything they make is backed by a lifetime warranty. This, uh, with primary arms, some of their stuff is not. So just double check that and make sure whatever it is, if that's a major concern for you, make sure you, you validate that what you're purchasing does come with a lifetime warranty. And I know they're, they're more expensive items do. I'm talking about down on the budget end. Some of their budget things uh, that I'm aware of do not. Some stuff I've purchased in the past does not come with a, a, a lifetime warranty. So that's it. SLX hunting. Uh, reticle is the duplex. Again, huge fan of that. I've already looked through this. I bought two of these, by the way. Because, again, the original price was $229. Had them on sale for $99. So it's like I'm getting two for the price of one you know, reloader math, right? And so I'll just go ahead and say up front, I would not pay full price for this scope. Not that it's a bad scope. I think it's a great scope. I really like this scope so far, just out of the box, initial thoughts. I, I've not even mounted it on a firearm yet, which I plan to do. I plan to, to mount it, uh, haven't decided on which one yet. Yeah, haven't decided that, so we haven't made it that far. I've actually had these for a few weeks now. I just haven't done anything with them. Actually, several weeks. I got these pretty quick after Black Friday. Um, but, yeah, it's 4 to 12, so good magnification range. Um, you know, more of a traditional hunting distances with the duplex reticle. You know, I'm, I know a lot of people are into 
hunting at, at extended ranges, so you're going to want something with uh, a little more, I guess, capability built into the reticle, which makes sense. Um, this does not have a parallax adjustment, so you uh, are kind of stuck with the, I think it's parallax free at 100, or it might be 150, I can't remember. Uh, it's one of those two. But yeah, they, they tout it as being, let's see here, let's see, look at that. Look at that, go shoot that bad boy. Um, so right here on the side of the box, look at this thing, lightweight. Ooh, one inch tube, capped turrets, proven and effective duplex reticle, rugged industrial design. Not exactly sure what rugged industrial design means. It's it's a freaking scope, and just about all your budget scopes are going to look very, very similar to this. So, not exactly sure what that means. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, one inch tube, just like the box said. So you will need one inch uh, scope rings for this. The lightweight part, eh, that's debatable. Um, they don't call it uh, an ultra lightweight so I guess they can get away with calling it a lightweight hunting series I mean it's even right there on the box as well that's kind of why they released it it's more of a no frills you know pared down version of look if you're going to go hunting and you just want a scope that's going to work and going to get the job done a hundred percent of the time at traditional hunting distances and probably even extended ranges because what's nice about this scope is you can actually obviously take the cap off the turret and the uh, the turret adjustment, so these are metal, by the way, aluminum, which is nice. I've seen some plastic ones. Uh, let's see. And it's very clearly indicated, you know, up, down. Then you got one click is a quarter MOA. So you can hear it. It, it is audible. Uh, but what's really nice, it's not its not like a loud sort of crisp click. If uh, You guys know what I'm talking about, okay? Just, just bear with me. Just act like you're here in this moment, and we can do this together. And it's like, it's more of a, it's more of a muted click, which is nice, but it's extremely tactile. Like, you know, 100%, I just went one click. Like, it, it's very much a... Uh, a very positive uh, turn on the turret, so you know what you you know you just went a click or whatever, uh, you know measurement you're trying to, however many clicks you need to go right to adjust for elevation to make your shot. So you could definitely uncap the turret. You could dial this uh, if you needed to make a shot at extended ranges. You know wh whatever, right? Uh, the magnification adjustment. It was a little stiff right out of the box, but it worked in just like virtually every other scope I've ever had. It worked in really nicely just in a couple of turns and the thing is turning very smoothly. Uh, no issues there. And then you have your uh, your focus here for, for the reticle in terms of getting that dialed in specifically to your eye and how you see the reticle. You wanna make sure you do mess around with that, get behind the gun, make sure everything is crisp and clear, which I will touch on the glass very clear. Is it, you know, comparable to a thousand dollar glass? No, it's not. Is it good enough for 100% of the people that are going to go out there and hunt and go shoot whitetail, you know, or really any other critter? Yes, most definitely. Uh, the eye box in terms of your eye relief and, and sort of how far away, uh, that is, let's see, do I have that listed? Eye relief three and a half inches. Now that's pretty tight. Down at four, it's not as bad, but as you go higher in magnification, it definitely, uh, you gotta be pretty well lined up with the optic because it's it's coming in pretty tight. Once you get, you know, once you get up to 12 for sure, uh, as you go higher in magnification, that eye box shrinks down quite a bit. Uh, not the end of the world, not really that bad, but just something to, uh, you know, make note of, right? This is, uh, again, I I haven't mounted this yet and I haven't taken it out of the range. This is just me opening up out of the box, looking through it, kind of checking it out. It, it's, I think it's going to be a really good optic and I'm definitely going to keep one of them. I might, I might sell the other one, the one I haven't opened yet, possibly sell it. I don't know. 
haven't decided. But I'm definitely going to keep one of them. I think it's a really great option uh, for the, the hunting that I do here in Alabama. And, you know, again, shots that I'm going to be taking, again, vast majority will be within 200 yards. This will get the job done on anything that I have in inventory at the moment. So, really good stuff there. The weight on it, it is 18 and a half ounces. So, again, you know, is that really lightweight? Eh, you can go get some Leupold stuff that, that is less than that. Um, and, you know, and, and at that point, if you're paying two twenty nine, you're paying full retail for this thing. Eh, that, that would be a tough, that it would be tough for me to spend 230 bucks on this and then you're going to have to pay taxes, you know, whatever, probably get it free shipping, you know. So not much more than that, less than 250 but just about, any day of the week, you can go on Midway or pretty much anywhere else that sells Leupold, and they're they're selling their stuff. They're three to nine, and they're four to twelve for two ninety nine. So three hundred bucks, you tack on a little bit more for taxes, um, and you can get something that's going to be lighter than eighteen and a half ounces. So again, that's with a duplex reticle, uh, virtually the exact same stuff you can get here. Uh, but yeah, that's it. You know, I just wanted to kind of introduce this scope. Uh, I will show some footage through the scope as well, not in this video. That'll come at a later date when, once I get the thing mounted up. But just wanted to kind of, I guess, show this to you guys, uh, let you know about the uh, the recent purchase. So if you care about any of this other stuff, uh, second focal plane, which I'm a big fan of, um, you see the magnification there, field of view, you know, at four and 12 power, so you've got that. Uh, it's non-illuminated, which that's how they tried to get the weight down, obviously. If uh, they add illumination, your weight's going to go up. Lifetime warranty. So good stuff there. That's where we're going to leave it. Pretty straightforward stuff. Y'all got to stay tuned for some of this stuff right here. I've been able to get out to the range just briefly a couple of times, shoot some... Uh, shoot some of these bullets with the new Garmin chronograph, grab, you know, grab some velocity data. I'm about to start testing accuracy. Cannot wait for that. So y'all stay tuned for everything coming up and we'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a good one.